Thank you very much. You know, it is hope that keeps people alive. When there's no hope, that's why you have about committing suicide and all, or taking up arms because, look, there's nothing left for us. As it is today, the youth of Nigeria actually have no genuine hope. What is on the table for them is we will give you some crumbs. I should be satisfied with that. And we will continue telling you you are the leader of tomorrow. And I wonder how you can be you can be leader of tomorrow when it is still recycled people by virtue of what I had referred to before your current constitution that makes it so. This future of the youth lies in those things, the five demand or point demand of Ninas. Because that is what will engender a nation that makes for the equality of all. Because what we have today is that all animals are not created equal. We must have equal opportunities. Yes, I might be wealthier than some people, some people wealthier than I am. It's natural. But when we started life, do we start life as people who are created equal? I come from a state, I'm from another state, where my child will have to score 139. And I don't want to score two. And still, with my 139 points, my child will still, will still not be able to get into a unity school. But the person who has two points is assured of a place in unity school, which is federal government sponsored, financed. So I have to go and look for a public school for my child, where I will pay through my nose for money that is even difficult for me to make because of the way I come from. That's reality. I've been alive for 40 years, so I'm not guessing. And I have offices all over the Federation, so I'm not guessing. I know the treatment I receive here and there. How do they tell you you ah, are? But then, at the end of the day, they tell your clients, if you want to continue with this job, do remove KOP. Those are my initials, that's what I'm called. Look for another lawyer, not KOP. So, remember our virtues. It started from my days of youth. I'm using myself as an example. I'm the pastor who preaches with himself. I don't preach with other people. I preach with my own circumstances. There's a reason I changed the name of my law firm from KOP, Adenika, and Co. to Sower and Mercedes Solicitors. The other one was a brand, Igbo brand, that's Igbo man. And I knew the hurdles I had to face and overcome, and most times I couldn't overcome them because of the name, because of the region I come from, with all their acclaimed brilliance. And people who were not qualified ordinarily to clean the dust off the books in your library, even though they also had appellation lawyer, who now go and get those fat briefs and ask you to assist them because of where they come from. So I continue doing all that till now that I'm no longer youth. And how do you think that the current youth will do better? When we are more rugged than rugged. I have children. They are the youth today. They are graduates. They each of them have two degrees. But I can assure you that with all the expensive education they acquired, that because of where they come from, they will not have anything close to the same opportunity as their counterpart. Who even didn't acquire one tenth of the quality education they acquired? But they will not come and do the work, and that their counterpart from the privilege, the, the, the owner mentality section of the country will be their boss. So the youth will do well for themselves to buy into this. It is actually their interest. As it is today, I just told you, I have children. Even as an Igbo man, every Igbo man wants to have a son and a daughter. I have both. So, whatever I'm doing today, that even if I'm cut down today, as an Igbo man, I already have people who continue with the family name. But I'm not going to be cut down because I will go when it's my time to go. And it's not yet my time. But if I say I'm not interested, then I'll do whatever they like, I'll still feed myself. That will be the truth. But what happens to my children? And when I say my children, I don't mean my biological children. Because everybody, that's how we are raised. Everybody who is less than 50 years old is my child in this country. 
and wherever it is I go to live. So what happens to my children, grandchildren? What is their hope? To have a PhD and come and be looking for Uber to write? Or even in fact Wakara? And even that Wakara you are going to write, would they even allow you to write the piece? The youth of Nigeria are hereby encouraged, in fact, chastised to ensure that they buy into this. Otherwise, our situation will be much, 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 much better than what they're going to encounter. When we're growing up, people are not coming to our farmlands to kill us and chase us away and take over our land. If this is not addressed now, in 20 years' time, and I'm putting time to it, in 20, in 20, by 2041, the youth will find out that they are all, I didn't say most, they have all become slaves to the rampaging owner mentality people. And by then it will be too late. Now, if the youth were to buy into what I am saying now, then we will have a managed transition to uh, not necessarily an Eldorado, because there will always be problems in life, but to a, man, to a, a situation, to a nation, where they will have a policy with anybody from any part of the country. Because now they will determine where, which one is this our country? What are supposed to be my rights and obligations in this country? If you don't have right currently, what is dressed or the things that are dressed as your rights are actually privileges. Because they take it away when they want. They restore it when they want. If our young people with all the education, their natural intelligence, and this thing that I'm saying publicly, do not lash onto this and insist that this five point demand be met, then, of course, in 50 years' time, if I'm alive, if I'm alive then I'm, I'm punishing myself. What am I doing alive in 50 years from now? 40 years from now, what am I doing alive? Then they will be, oh, that ancestor predicted this. But then, what are you doing with the prediction you got by never utilized?